you somebody that's having trouble engaging your biceps or struggling in that department, we're gonna get into a couple of bicep exercises right here. Um, we're gonna start off with hammer for the cable. So a lot of people do hammer with a dumbbell and um, not saying that's wrong. I just find cables engages it a little bit better because um, there's tension from start to bottom. So I like using a rope with uh, loops, one of these. So what I do is I put it right over top of this part of my hand so that basically that that big, basically muscular spot right underneath your, your thumb. Get yourself in a spot where your elbows are tucked into your side. The cable is a straight line to your shoulder. And then you're, you're driving with that, basically that knuckle of the thumb up. What this is gonna do is gonna work side, the outside of the bicep. And it's definitely gonna help with that overall look at the bicep. And it's gonna help with the peak. Is that the rep? On arms, I'm a big believer in volume. So just pick a weight that you're gonna get. Um, you're gonna go right to the form breaks. Um, and what I mean by breaking is that you're starting to throw your, your torso into it. Basically, you're, you're getting into that spot where you're starting to do one of these, or you're, you're only getting to the bottom of the rep, or you're starting to break. You're starting to pull your elbow back just to get it to move. Go right to actually form break. So if you're getting 12, 15, a little bit over 15, that's fine, because um, you're going right to absolute failure. So with arms, I like to tend to keep the volume a little high um just to get that blood in there so that's my personal preference and that's what i do with a lot of my clients uh, and it tends to work with them as well so that would be my recommendation for hammer curl we're just moving on to the next one yeah all right so moving on we're going to go right into drag so with drag same sort of concept so instead of Walking yourself back, you're gonna be right up over top of the cable. And this is basically the only exercise that I tell people to break their elbow because you're dragging that bar right up your torso. Rep range is very small because you're only going right up until the point where you can't pull it up any longer. You're driving with the, the bones of your index finger. And again, you are gonna feel it more so on the outer part of the bicep. What's the common mistakes here? Common mistakes with this one are people aren't breaking their elbow. They're just, they're doing like, almost like an upright row with this. You gotta keep your body upright, break the elbow and just curl it up the body. It's a very, very short exercise and it's all isolated on the outer part of the bicep. So rep ranges for that one, same thing. You're gonna keep it a little high on the volume end. Um, so you should be feeling it basically right on along the outside and the top of the forearm, the brachialis here and right up into the outer part of the bicep. So um, with this, it's more of like a finisher. I would do this more like the end of your exercises. Um, it wouldn't be like a, a mass builder, like a, like a barbell curl or a cable easy bar curl um, where it's a lot different. You would do this more like combination of something or at the very end of the exercise to get more just isolation on the, the older part of the arm or trying to work on your peak, even though that's more of a genetic thing, um, the look of the arm, but Realistically, this would be something that um, would definitely help put more blood in the older bicep. So give that a try the next time you guys are doing arms. Um, so you have two, two looks there. You have the, uh, the hammer curl with the rope and the drag curl with the easy bar. So both combination of older bicep work 
I know you guys all love it. Give it a try.